Interserve is hosting an annual meeting to discuss where they have helped in the community and highlight some people who have made that possible. News Press Now's Kirsten Stokes is there live and she's going to give us a preview of this event. Kirsten. Thank you so much, Charles. Yeah, that's right. Here in about 30 minutes, the celebration of then and now will occur here at InterServe Community Center. And I am joined by Executive Director Brett King. Brett, thank you so much for meeting with me tonight. Um, kind of just go ahead and describe what some of the things people can hear uh, that's going to happen tonight at the meeting. Well, then the celebration of then and now is what we uh, build it as coming into this meeting. And it's kind of one of those deals where we went back into our archives and saw things that happened for InterServe way back in the day. And we said, you know, we did some good things back then. Let's try to bring that back into what we're doing now and uh, try to try to celebrate both what we're currently doing and what we did in the past. So uh, the then and now theme was uh, kind of a good one to go for. We actually found an old uh, annual report that was printed back in, I believe, the 50s that cost a about six bucks to print 100 of them. <laughs> and now we're looking at our annual report on a tablet that we have at all the tables. So uh, it's the then and now theme is kind of what we went for tonight. And we'll have a good celebration of what we've been doing. Awesome. With over a hundred years um, of service here in St. Joseph, what are your next steps, I guess, or top priorities for InterServe the rest of the year? Well, our strategic plan always says that we like to enhance the, uh, the lives of those of our youth, uh, of our families, and of our seniors, and we'll continue to do that uh, with uh, outstanding programming that we've had over the last hundred years, as you, as you said earlier. Um, We've done some things in 2023 that's kind of expanded our programming with the youth in our new facility down the street here at 228 Cherokee mm -hmm. and in the north side of St. Joseph. And then we're going to try to do some more things with the seniors to try to get more, more opportunities for them to be involved and not to be, you know, at home, lonely, by themselves, right. to get out, to get back to, to being uh, like a, a community member that they used to be when they were younger, like <laughs> us guys. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do some things in the, those aspects of our programming to make it uh, life better for everybody. Thank you so much, Brett. Uh, everyone, stay tuned for the 9 and 10 o'clock show. We'll have a full preview of tonight's event with some interviews of some award recipients as well as some board members. Back to you, Charles.